Mr. McCaw, I'm Kong. Wait, hmm. wait, I know. Here, have a cracker. Hmm? Oh, I guess Polly doesn't like crackers. <laughs> oh, I know. Surrounded. Henry, help! I'm surrounded! Hi, hummingbirds! Welcome back to another session of Out with Henry and Kong! Yo, how, how? Arr, we are pirates! Arr. Let's discuss the materials we need for today's project! Aye, aye, cat. To make today's project, this is what you need. Pencil. Colored pencils. Sharpies. Glue. Scissors. Roller. And cardstock. Yes. Yeah, that's all. Are we ready, Mady? Yeah. Arr, arr, let's go, arr. Hi, hummingbirds. Before we begin, you will need three pieces of paper. So to make this model McCall, there are going to be three parts to this project. The first thing we need to do is to make the body. And once we're done with the body, we need to make the wings and the tail feathers. So let's just begin by working on the body first. Okay, I have here a piece of yellow paper. This is going to be for the body. The first thing we need to do is to fold the paper into halves. So make sure the edges are aligned. Once you have that, press it down and push with your finger to make a crease. Very good. So the part with the crease is going to be the back of the bird. The next thing you need to do is get a pencil we are going to draw the bird. So the first thing we need to do, if you remember from our lesson last week, we need to do a diagonal line. And then we do the beak by doing a curved line. And we close it up to form the beak. Then there's a little bump on the front here it goes all the way to the top and it comes down like that. Then we're gonna do the neck to the point here and then it goes all the way down to the corner over here. And right at the end here, we're going to do these feet. And then we're going to use the ruler now. So what we do with the ruler, we're going to put the ruler over here. The ruler is going to be from the front of the feet right to the point at the end here. All right. Just do a line like that. So you will get the overall look of McCall. So once you're satisfied with the shape and the placement of the beak, we can start going over it with marker. So I got my marker over here and I'm going to finish up the outline of the bird with the marker.
Okay, so this is the body of the McCall. And then we're going to draw his face. Right? Don't forget the nostril. And then his big round eyes at the top here. Okay. I'm going to add some lines around the eye, like that. Okay. Let's do the legs. Just put some lines. Okay. And now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to color it. It's really up to you what kind of colors you want to use. So I'm going to use orange. I'm going to use a little bit of orange on the top here. I'm going to use gray for this part. for the lower beak. And then let's put some orange around the eyes too. And let's use gray for the feet. Perfect. Now let's use the scissors and we can start cutting it out. Be careful when you're using scissors. Please ask for help if you do need it. Get your parents or an elder sibling to help you. Okay, so now I've cut out the body of the parrot, and you will notice that it opens up like that. So this is the correct way to do it, alright? So now we have the body, let's put it away, and let's work on the wings. So I have here a fresh piece of paper, I'm using white paper this time. Fold it into halves, make sure the edges are aligned. Okay. Press it down. So I'm doing this because I need a pair of wings, one on each side. So once you have that ready, we can get started. So remember how you draw the wing? So what we do is start out with an oval shape. Right? And then we're going to put the tail feathers at the end. Sorry, the long wing feathers at the end. Okay, so we can put a little, a couple of small feathers, and then the first layer of feathers over here like that, and then the second layer will be twice as long.
and then use up the rest of the space for the third layer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it out. going to do this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the little feathers on top. Okay, and the first layer of feathers. Okay, now for the second set. And then finish it up with all the space. Then we're going to do the long wing cutters at the end. Okay. So the reason why I chose white paper for the wings so I could color in the different colors. So let's choose your favorite colors and do the wings. So I've chosen red, yellow, and blue for my wings. So, the first set of wings, I'm going to use red. And then, I'm going to have yellow. And the rest of it, I'm going to do blue. So it can be any colors you like. Choose your favorite color. So I'm going to work on this one too. Okay, I finished coloring my wings, but for those of you who do not like coloring, you could also cut out from paper. Using construction paper, you can cut out different colors, and then you can put them, glue them together to form the wing that you like. Okay, let's put our finished wings aside and let's get ready to do the tail feathers. So I have here a fresh piece of yellow paper. I'm just going to fold about one and a half inches or maybe a little bit less. So once you got that, get your marker and you're going to do the tail feather. So the tail feathers are very long. So I'm just gonna do a long feather all the way from here, right? And over here, I'm gonna have a shorter feather. It's gonna be over here like that. See? So if you like, you can color different colors for the feather. Leave this the color. We leave this the, exactly the same color as the body, but for the feather on the outside, it could be blue. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it out.
Then we open it up, and this is the tail feather. And make sure you cut a good portion of this. Cut at the center of the crease line. See? So this is the tail feather. Okay. So the next step. Back to the body of the McCall, I want you to open it up. So what's going to happen, I'm going to put glue all along here to the beak until the chest here. Okay, so get your glue. Okay, put the glue from the chest all the way to here. I'm gonna flip it back and press it down for a moment to make sure the glue is really sticking. Okay, so I will leave it aside for a couple of minutes. Now that the glue has time to dry, we are going to hold the bird over here, okay? Hold the bird over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press it down from the back. So when you press it down, it opens up like a triangle, all right? Press it down, and it opens up, okay? So what happens is it puffs up the body and then it's going to allow the McCall to be able to stand. So now we're going to attach the wings. Alright? So we're going to attach the wings around the shoulder area about here. Okay? So what you need to do, for those of you who wants to be sure you don't get glue all messy, you could actually use a pencil and do a line so you know where you're gluing. I'm going to put a bunch of glue over here. And I'm going to put the wing like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it over to the other side and glue this wing on the other side. So turn it over and I'm going to glue the other wing on the other side, so just put some glue. Make sure it's aligned with the wing on the other side, and press it down, give it a moment so that it could dry out. Now let's, while that's drying, let's get our tail. This is the tail. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put some glue over here. And then we're going to glue it. We're going to open it up at the bottom. And we're just going to glue it right over here. All right? So this is the long tail that we did. So we're going to put glue over here over here. Then we're just going to open the bottom of the McCall and just glue it right at the end. Push it in, press it, and hold, and let it dry for a moment. So we completed our McCall. Once it's finished drying, remember, you want to open up the bird a little. So, at its back, press it down. See, when you press it down, it pops up and it opens up so it can support itself. Alright? Let's give it a try.
So when you finish it, you can let the macaw stand on the edge of the table. Just like that. Because it has the long tail feathers, it has to stand at the edge. So you can display your macaw on the edge of the table or on your shelf. So you could try experimenting and work with different colors. And make your very own macaw. Have fun hummingbirds. I hope to see you make your very own macaw.